Hey guys, this is Alex Owari from ONG Tax and Accounting Services. So the purpose of this video is to quickly show you how to get your 2021 advanced child tax credit using the IRS online system. I get a lot of calls from taxpayers from all over the place asking about this letter 6419 and apparently some of them have not been able to get this letter or maybe it was sent in the mail and it got lost or maybe they received it and probably misplaced it and they don't know where to find it. The IRS is not going to send you a new copy or a replacement. So when this happens, the only option you basically have right now is to be able to get an online account. You sign into your IRS online account and then you go through the account and be able to retrieve that information. The other option is you can try to call the IRS, but in this day and ages, I would say if you want to spend your time on something else, calling the IRS should be your last option. But then your online tax account has all the tools that you would need to get all the information you, you need to know about your taxes. So for example, if you need information about your AGI, you can get that information using your IRS online tax account. If you need information about your stimulus check, you can use the same online portal system to get that information. So in this video, we're going to show you how you can sign into the online system and then basically retrieve the information you need and for this specific video we're going to look at for those that wants the 2021 advanced child tax credit information we're going to dive straight into it and show you how you can find that information to go into your irs tax account and every taxpayer as long as you file a tax return with the irs you should have an account established for you and it's all up to you to go in, set it up and activate it. So I'm going to show you one of the websites or the web address you could use is this address here. So you could actually copy and paste it in your browser. And then this page that I'm on is going to show up for you. Now, when you're here, you go into sign into your online account. If you already have an existing IRS username, you can sign in using click by clicking on this blue button here or if you don't have any you can create a new one so you can go through this steps process here to create a new account so in my case i already have an account so what we're going to do is to go in here click it and then i'm gonna put in my username put in my password and for security's sake when you're setting up your account, the IRS would like for you to put in your personal phone number so they can send you a test message to confirm or to authenticate this account. So in my case, yeah, I just received the code. So I'm going to type it in real quick. Okay. So once I get the code, I log in. Continue. If you're able to log in and you can see everything here, you can see all these menus that you have here. So for example, your tax account home, account balance, your payment option. This means that you could use, you can use this online account to make your tax payment. Whether it's estimated payment or taxes that you owe, you can make payment here. Any payment that you've made during the year will show up in your payment activities. Your tax record is where it's important. For those of you looking for information on your 2021 advanced tax tax credit, once you click on tax record, go all the way down to 2021 advanced tax tax credit payment. When you go here, it, it's going to show you the total amount you received in the letter, the letter 6419. Now it's going to show you the total amount. And then if you're married, both of you will be receiving the same letter and then it will have the same amount in box one. So if you're married, you basically have to take this amount and multiply it by two. And then the information is going to show you the number of qualifying children. So this is the information. This two information here is what you would need to reconcile your advanced child tax credit payment. So I hope this helps you out. 
in figuring out how to reconcile your advanced child tax credit. If you're unable to log in online, then you probably have to call the IRS. But then I would advise that calling the IRS should be your last option and try as much as possible to be able to log in, set up your own online tax account and have control over your account. So I hope this helps you guys. And if it did, please like, share and subscribe to whoever is going to be able to watch this and probably get some help through it. All right. Thank you. Bye.